Well, isn't that always the age-old question? And I'll tell you, there's a, there's a saying in the music business, an age-old saying, that the song breaks the artist. And even though the music business has changed dramatically in the last 15 years, that saying is still really true. You see, there's basically two ways to grab the public's attention to catch a break. First would be to be an extraordinary singer. Now, that may seem crazy obvious, but what if you're more of an ordinary singer and still have those aspirations? Well, that's when that saying really should be your focus. You see, a song, an extraordinary song, has a way of sneaking into the public's hearts and minds. And as it's doing that, the singer is invited in right along with it. Many, many, many singers, many, most artists, are really sort of on the coattails of an extraordinary song. That's how they, they gained public notoriety. Now, you see this comment a lot on shows like American Idol, where the judges will say it wasn't really a good song choice. And unfortunately, you see the contestants kind of brush away that comment. I found that most amateurs have a belief that they should be able to sing anything. And most pros know that's not true. What great singers do is just let you hear what they sing great. Nobody can sing everything well. And so it's really important if you're thinking of posting a lot of videos on YouTube in order to catch that break, in order to gain some notoriety. It's very important to know the difference between an extraordinary song, an extraordinary person, and an extraordinary video. See, some people are such incredible personalities. They've got such swagger that they, the public becomes very enamored with them. And in that case, it's kind of the opposite. When somebody is a 110-watt is a light bulb, what they sing, the song, comes along for the ride then. And some videos are so extraordinary that, again, that reverse happens where the song sneaks into our consciousness just because the video was so incredible. But if you're doing things on your own, posting songs and you singing you know, on YouTube in order to gain a lot of viewers, then you have to watch out for that because that will backfire. So it's up to you to find the songs that really highlight your assets. Everybody's got that certain special something inside them. And it's up to the singer. It's the responsibility of the singer to know what those assets are and to find the songs, the extraordinary songs out there that highlight them. It's going to be how you catch your break. Don't